a type of tree called spanning tree and counting on the trees. First coming to the definition of what is a tree, a connected acyclic graph is called as a tree. A tree structures, they are used to represent the hierarchical relationship. So each tree consists of nodes and edges. So here in this diagram, so the circles, we call them as the nodes and the edges from top to bottom, we are called them as the edges. The, so these uh, nodes represents the object and the edges represents the relationship between the two nodes. So a simple graph is a tree if and only if any two distinct vertices are connected by a unique path. So example, if you consider from this node to this node, there is only one path. There is no other unique path. So this is the only path which you can have here. So if you have a unique path between any two vertices, then it is called as a tree. Every connected graph contains a spanning tree. What is the meaning of spanning tree? A tree which has all the nodes of the given graph. So the number of edges in a tree or n vertices is n minus 1. So this can be proved if suppose a uh, uh, we, we question says that prove that the number of uh, edges in a tree with n vertices is n minus 1. So we can prove it by using mathematical induction on the number of edges. Suppose if you have a single uh, no edge, then there is a single vertex. So at that time, uh, your uh, base condition will be satisfied. And suppose you have n is e, uh, the number of edges is 1. Then also it will be satisfying because there are uh, two vertices and only one edge. So then also it satisfies. So this can be proved by using mathematical induction on the number of edges. So conversely, if a connected graph on n vertices has n vertices and n minus 1 edges, then it is definitely be a tree. So now a tree with at least two vertices contains at least two pendant vertices and uh, that is end vertices or vertices of degree one are called as pendant vertices. A connected graph G is tree if and only if every edge of G is a cut edge of G. What is the meaning of cut edge? So if you remove that edge, then the graph will be disconnected. So if you pick any edge from the tree, then if you remove any edge, then that becomes a disconnected. That's why every edge of the uh, tree will be a cut edge. So suppose example, suppose if you see the given graph, if I cut this edge, the graph becomes disconnected. If I cut this edge, again, the graph becomes disconnected. So if you cut any edge of the tree, then the graph becomes disconnected. So that edge, we call it as a cut edge. Next is counting the number of spanning trees. So this uh, Counting the number of spanning tree in a graph, it occurs as a natural problem in many branches of science. So the one of the application is spanning trees were used by Kirchhoffs to generate a cycle basis for the cycles in the graphs of electrical networks. So the number of spanning trees of a connected labeled graph G is denoted by tau of G. And if G is uh, disconnected, it means that the number of uh, components are different that is if it is disconnected means the graph is not connected then the number of spanning trees will be equal to zero now suppose example find all the spanning trees here it's a cycle of four vertices so g is a c4 now if i remove this edge this becomes a spanning tree because in the spanning tree tree there should be no cycle so i can remove this edge this edge this edge this edge so by deleting each of the one one edges, I'll be getting four different uh, spanning tree. So in general, if I have a cycle of n uh, vertices, then the number of spanning trees will be equal to n. Now suppose you have this graph. So now what are the various spanning trees I can remove because the number of uh, vertices is four, the number of edges must be equal to three in the spanning tree. But here, I have 5. So it means I have to remove two edges from this graph. So if I remove this edge and this edge, I'll be getting this. So likewise, if you remove two edges, so I'll be getting these many uh, spanning trees. It has to be a connected. You cannot have disconnected. It has to be a connected. And it, from any vertex, I should have only one path. So it should contain all the vertices and the edges must be equal to 3. So this is the, these are all the possible uh, spanning trees for the given G. Now suppose I have a 
uh, C3. So C3 is nothing but cycle with uh, three edges, three vertices. Then what are the spanning trees? By removing this edge, I'll get this. By removing this, I get this. By removing this, I get this. So I'll be getting three spanning trees. Next is there is a recursive formula for G. Before establishing this, we let us define the concept of edge contraction in the graphs. So what is edge contraction? We have to see. Now suppose you have an, an edge E of a graph is said to be a contracted if it is deleted from G and its ends are identified. The resulting graphs is denoted by G composition E. The edge contraction is uh, shown below. If E is not a loop of G, then the number of uh, ed, uh, the, num the order of the G composition E is equal to N of G minus 1. That is the number of uh, edges of G minus 1. And the number of uh, edges, that is this is number of vertices N of G minus 1. And this is the number of edges of G composition E will be number of uh, edges of G minus 1. If E is not a loop, then t of g is equal to tau of g is equal to tau of g minus c plus tau of g composition e. So we have seen the example for if suppose my the number of spanning trees for a path of length n is equal to 1 because I already you have a path that is unique and uh, you can't have any different because there is no cycle it is having a single spanning tree. Then the number of spanning trees for a cycle with n vertices as we have seen is n. And the number of spanning trees for a complete graph with n vertices which is kn is equal to n raised to n minus 2. This is by Cayley's theorem. Now suppose if it is a complete graph you can directly write the number of spanning trees by using Cayley's formula that is n raised to uh, n minus 2. If suppose your graph is not any of this, then you are to bring it into the standard form by using your decomposition and then apply the required formulas. Now suppose my uh, graph G is this and how do I obtain G composition E1? So here E1 is this edge. So this is obtained by uh, contracting the edge E1. So by removing this edge, I will be getting this graph. So we will be removing this uh, edge and the retaining all other edges. Now if I remove this edge E5, so what will be the graph obtained which is G composition E5 because these are two different vertices. I have to compress these two as a single vertex. So let us consider so V1 is equal to V4 and I am retaining either of these two. So I will write here I am retaining this V1 equal to V4. This I am retaining and I am contracting this here. So now first write all other things uh, excluding these edges, this edge. So now because these two edges are here, so I'll be getting this cycle, this uh, cycle as it is and these two are contracted and this uh, V1 to V3 will be forming an edge with uh, V1 to V3. This will be the new edge E4. So all these edges will remain excluding your E5. So this is your G comp. How do we perform the edge contraction? Now suppose uh, you are being given with the C3. So these are the, this is the approach uh, used by decomposition approach. Now suppose I will be uh, erasing this edge. Now this will be equal to the graph which is obtained by the erase, erasing of this uh, edge plus this, uh, these two vertices are get merged. Then I will be getting this, uh, this edge will be replacing this another edge. So you will be getting this kind of graph. So here you have a cycle. So this is your uh, C2. So for C2 the number of uh, spanning trees will be 2 and for this this is already a path. So you have a single uh, spanning tree. So 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3. Now suppose you have this graph where you are having cycle and uh, the diagonal word edges also. So here uh, this is nothing but your complete graph with uh, Four vertices. So according to our Cayley's formula, four rise to uh, four minus two, which is nothing but four rise to um, two. I think uh, this is not complete graph. Is it complete graph? 
Yes. So, uh, by uh, suppose you are want to solve this by using decomposition approach. Now, suppose this is the orange uh, edge which I am removing. Now, this graph G can be obtained as this graph which is removing this edge plus by the graph which is obtained by contracting these two will be in this fashion. So, here A and B are same and I am retaining this vertex and writing this. So, all the remaining uh, edges becomes as it is and this edge uh, will be coming represented by this and this edge will be represented by this. So, now if I each of this uh, again you have to solve it. This is represented in the next diagram. So, now here this is a given graph and uh, you can write by removing this edge by this graph plus this graph and now this graph again you can solve by removing this edge by uh, you will get this graph plus contracting this you will be getting this graph. Now for this graph if you remove this edge I will be getting this graph that is removing this I will be getting this graph which is this and uh, by contracting this I will be getting this graph. So now for this graph this is your uh, cycle with 4 so I have 4 ways and this is your 2 and 2, 2 into 2 that is 4 ways and again here Mm, four ways and again here four ways. So you will be having 16 spanning trees. So you can stop wherever you are able to get the counting for each of the subgraphs. So you need not to complete this. You can stop here itself and find. So by using it because this is your uh, k regular graph which is four regular graph by your k list prob theorem also you can uh, say that 4 rise to 2 which is nothing but 16 spanning trees. If your question says that you have to use a decomposition approach, you have to show by using the decomposition approach. Otherwise, if it is a quiz question, then you can use your uh, Cayley's formula that is n rise to n minus 2 to find the number of spanning trees. So likewise, for finding the number of spanning trees for the below graph, it is uh, shown here. So which will be First, I am removing this edge. So, by removing this edge, I will be getting this graph. And by contracting this and this, these two vertices, I will be getting so this graph. So, here uh, this edge gets contracted. So, you will be getting these two gets merged and these two gets merged. And this edge will be, it will be like this. So, now for this graph, again, I will be applying the decomposition, appro uh, decomposition method. And... Uh, for this again I will be applying the decomposition approach so by going until so now you can you can stop here itself because for this four ways for this four ways and for this four ways four plus four plus four which is nothing but 12 spanning trees you need not go for this step until and unless you know the answer for the current decomposition so this is how you can find the number of spanning trees for any graph thank you